Hey guys, it's Monica. Yeah, it is a rainy, drab Memorial Day weekend here in New Hampshire. I don't know what the weather's been like for you, but I'm filming this on Memorial Day because, well, it was a wacky weekend. <laughs> so if you're curious, stay tuned. Alrighty, so Memorial Day, right? You kind of think about Memorial Day as being sort of that kickoff for summer, uh, at least I always have. So it's always been sort of a bittersweet time too because yes, I'm excited because summer is here and oftentimes we're camping, we're away from home and relaxing, but somber at the same time because you have to always bear in mind all of those people that sacrificed for us so that we can enjoy what we enjoy every day. And my brother, many of you know, is a 100% disabled Vietnam vet. I am his guardian. I take care of him. And I always am mindful of the sacrifice he made for us, for our country, for us people, so that we could continue to live free. At least, Hopefully, we can continue to live free. Anyways, um, yeah, so Memorial Day, you know, a time of celebration, but a time of deep reflection. And this, this Memorial Day has been totally, totally different because the weather has been really awful. We haven't even gone camping. None of the campgrounds are open. Nobody can find help. Believe it or not, they can't hire help to run some of the campgrounds, at least the state parks. They're just, they can't find help. They don't have any help to keep them open. So anyways, I could go on a huge rant, but I'm not going to. So what I'm gonna share with you in this video is a couple of things that I have been gifted, that I bought, that I've used, that I've rebought, that I've loved. So I'm gonna to try to keep it brief. I know, famous statement, right? I'm gonna to try to brief, keep it brief. First of all, I had an episode with my eye. Um, I have dry eye, as you know, and I suffer from in one eye where I have um, just, it's, it's just an ongoing issue. I've been doing eye drops. I've been doing, you know, eye masks. I've been doing all sorts of different things that I could. Well, today I went to put the eye drops in my eye and I poked myself so bad in the eye that I just, I, I just started crying. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't see what I was doing and I just poked my eye deeply and, um, it was it was awful. So, anyways, I my eyes look a little wacky now because it's been two, two and a half hours, and I've been just trying to find my balance with my eye the way it is. It's so frustrating. But, anyways, one thing that I want to show you right away because I absolutely love this. This is a bag that I ordered, and I had custom made. I love these whimsical characters. I mean, take a look at Jay calls this the big bum bag because all of these ladies have exaggerated bums. <laughs> Anyways, I had this custom made. I think it's so whimsical. It is so awesome. I absolutely love it. Inside, it has a couple of pockets. This is deep enough, big enough to hold my laptop for work, my makeup, my sneakers so I can, if I ever get into the right mode that I can actually go for walks at work. I love this bag. I had this made, custom made for me from the bag lady, Eileen the bag lady. She is on YouTube, um, I'm, not, I'm sorry, she's on Facebook and Instagram. I will link her information below. But I bought this bag and I had originally seen one very similar, very whimsical, slightly different um, characters or design, Marlene Fab and Glam. And I loved it. And I said, I've got to get myself that bag. And you know what? I really love supporting small businesses whenever I can. And I just, I just fell in love with this. This is not the cutest. I love this. So I bought this. This is my purchase this month that I love. And I am so, I'm really so happy I did. One thing that has been sent to me and um, that I have actually tried and talked about in the past is red light therapy and, you know, masks, face masks. 
So this is from the Best Life Company, and this is Light Therapy at Home. And there are seven different color modes to this mask. I could not believe it. There's red, there's blue, amber, purple, green light, white light, um, light blue light, and all of them target different areas. So there's several different modes on this mask, including one that massages your eyes, which I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, massages your eyes. And the more I read it, I wanted to be sure, number one, because of the dry eye, could a mask harm it? You know, would this be something that could harm my, my eyes or make my eyes worse? But all the research that I've been able to find is that this actually is good for dry eye. Who knew? I didn't. So anyways, uh, when they reached out to me, I said, sure, I would try this. They have sent me another mask in the past. This is one that you could charge and walk around and do things. With this particular one, you do have to be tethered. You have to be plugged into a power source. And then you can switch it on and you can have the different modes. It comes on, different colors, and then even the vibrations. And also on a timer. So you can, I don't know if you can hear this. This is the vibration. It's on a timer, and you can put this on, and um, you can fall asleep if you want, which would be a little bit uncomfortable, but you could. Now, you can see, when you have this on, you can actually see, because they have very cushioned, very sanitized iPads here. I'm just seeing a little makeup on here. But you can actually see, and you could do things if you wanted to, but you'd have to be tethered to your power source so for me, this is this forces me to relax. So I've been putting this on in the blue light for the anti-aging, and then I do the massage at the same time for my eyes. And I absolutely love it. I know that at-home light therapy, you can do your research, you can check it out. I'll give you all the information below. But I know at-home light therapy can be quite costly. And uh, as it is, if you end up going to... You know, if you go to a spa or you go anywhere and you have professional, red, you know, uh, light therapy done on your skin. I do believe in light therapy, especially for collagen production and things of that nature. So, I love this. I, I can't, I tell you, even though, you know, right now it's on sale, it's a little over $100 a unit like this on sale regularly. It's over 200 and it's it's adjustable, it's super comfortable. You can wear this like for 15 or 20 minutes a day. You can switch between the different modes if you want. I, I would highly suggest, whether it's not this one or another one, and I've used, this is probably my third different eye mask, not eye mask, sorry, my LED masks um, that I've done and used on my skin. I highly, highly suggest that you find one you like, if not this one, another one, but there is a huge difference in how your skin is when you are on a regular, in my opinion, routine with this. So I love this mask. Again, I'll leave all the information below. LED, photographery mask, rejuvenation with eye thermostatic, ther ther thermometer with eye, with, I'm just going to say with eye therapy because you know me, I can't pronounce these words. Anyways, really good stuff. I'll link all the information below. One thing I wanted to give you an update on was, and I will enclose a picture of how I keep this. This is one of the eye masks that I use. This one was gifted to me from Mavogel. They reached out to me and gifted this to me right about the same time as I had been diagnosed with, with um, the dry eye. Now I have an eye mask that I purchased and I put it in the microwave, it's the little beads. I've actually talked about this because I think I've had this now for, I think since February. And I have it hanging, as you can see here, on my bed post. And at night, this is, it's an electric mask. It does have two different uh, heat modes and it has a timer as well. So it shuts off after an hour, I believe. And it just is, super super nice i put it on and sometimes i get up in the middle of the night i'll go to the to the restroom 
the restroom, the bathroom, and I come back in and I put this on and I just let it go for the hour. I fall asleep. It just soothes my whole eyes. I absolutely love it. I probably use this every single night in bed. I am going to be purchasing, these are very affordable. I'm going to be purchasing a second one because I want to keep one in the motorhome if we ever get to go camping. But I want to keep one in the motorhome and one in the house. I like to do that with things that I use consistently because I don't want to have to go back and forth and, and carry in and carry out and all of that. Um, update on my apple cider gummy, gummies. Apple cider vinegar gummies. Anyways, this is the gummies I've used. I've talked about this in the past. This was recommended to me from Sheila, Life with Lily. I really like this apple cider vinegar gummy. I, this is empty. I have three more that I bought. I buy two at a time. Jay and I both use this. We use two in the morning. I drink a lot of water, two at night. I, I, I'm not going to say this is helping me lose weight, but it's helping me. I think it helps my gut health. It helps me feel fuller faster. So it does have some appetite control aspect to it, for me anyways. And I love it. Highly, highly recommend it tastes really good. You know what? I've had apple cider vinegar that I've tried to swallow or mixed in. It, it, it's a gag. It just makes me gag. The, this has a combination of sweet and a sour, but very mostly sweet. And I chew these gummies up and it's, um, oh, I forgot. Is it a thousand milligrams with two of them or something like that? I chew them up. I have water. I really like it. So this is the brand I use. This is the brand I have repurchased and will continue to repurchase. Really good stuff and am enjoying that. Uh, I have been doing intermittent fasting. I've only probably lost about six pounds and, and that's okay. I mean, I'd love to be able to lose all, all the COVID weight I gained, but I know that, you know what, it's just not going to happen that quick at all. And, um, and I'm okay with that. The other thing I wanted to tell you about is my helium hair. This is the Fiberflex multifunction. This is probably the second, maybe the third, I don't know if this is going to pick it up, um, can of this that I've had. Now, I have never seen helium hair in the stores. I haven't. I've seen it um, on their website only. Now, I buy the helium hair. I really love this. This, when, when I'm doing my bio hair, and I spray this into my hair. This gives me, for a thin-haired gal, this gives me amazing, amazing, amazing volume. I absolutely love this. This is, hands down, my number one. Out of, and I've tried tons. I've tried tons that were gifted to me from Octoly. Um, I have all sorts of different sprays that add volume, add texture. I've tried them all. But this one and one other one, which happens to be living proof, and this is the perfect hair dry, right? This is the body builder, the perfect hair dry body builder. I love this. And this is the one where you have the adjustable nozzle. It can go light, heavy. This is what I'm using currently. This is probably my fourth bottle of this. It is pricey. I look for it on sale. I buy it on Ulta only when I have a coupon uh, and when I have the 20% off. And I want, and sometimes, you know, not all the coupons work for all the different products, but I only buy this on sale. Every now and then you can catch this, um, maybe at a TJ Maxx or a Marshall. And if you can, yeah, get it. Because that last one I got was at Marshall's and it's $14.99 for this. And I think it's maybe $18.99 or $24, something like that in Ulta. So if you can catch this on TJ Maxx or Marshalls, buy it. I love this. So I always look, whether I need it or not, I always look in TJ Maxx or Marshalls every time I go in there for this. Because hands down, I love this. This is my number one. My number two would be my Helium Fiberflex. This is also expensive, but this will last me a lot longer than this does. So these are my two, and I, no exaggeration guys, I have probably tried 20 
or more in the last year or two. Uh, most of them that were sent to me complimentary that I'd like, that has given me some volume. But I always go back to these. And this is what I spend my money on because for my hair, these actually work. They actually really work. I love them. And I couldn't tell you which one I like the best, to be honest with you. they When I spray these in and I push my hands through my hair, I get like, oh, amazing, amazing volume. Love it. So this is empty. I will be buying another one. Again, this one, the only place I've ever seen it has been on their website. Um, I've never seen it anywhere else. If you guys have seen Fiberflex anywhere else in a store, let me know. I have not. But I do love it. So that's always been, <laughs> yes, that's a yes for me. Um, vitamin C's. Now, I'm going to do more of a full review on the truth, um, the truth treatment systems. Because I do have, have their vitamin C. I have their hyaluronic acid. I have a little tub of very, very, very moisturizing balm. Oh my gosh, is that stuff heavenly. And this is their mist. This is their uh, mineral mist, which I completely used up. And I also, before I started the truth, uh, truth treatment vitamin C, I finished up my Timeless and my Matrixel. I have not bought these yet, Rebought this. I have another bottle of this in my freezer. And um, I think in the big yellow, the new container. Uh, but I've not repurchased. I am using a peptide that I get from The Ordinary rather than the Matrixel right now. And I'm just going to go through those products and use them until I make a decision. But the Truth Treatment, the vitamin C, uh, it is... The texture is thick and that was super surprising to me because I am so used to my vitamin C that I get from Timeless and I have vitamin C from a few other companies as well and I have some really expensive vitamin C. But the Truth Treatment, vitamin C is a tiny little bottom, bottle, super, super thick and you mix it with the, the mist. Now I use I use another mist because I'm all out of this. I just use any kind of a mist on it just to, to get the moisture. And then I put it in the vitamin C. I'm almost done. I will tell you, I love it. I love it. Um, have I noticed a super big difference between that and any of my other vitamin Cs? Uh, to be honest with you, no, I haven't. Um, but I love how it goes on. And I love how it feels. I think it's probably an amazing, amazing product. I'm almost done. And then I will do a full review on how I, how I feel about it. But like I said, I have a number of different vitamin C's. Other than they're all much more watery, the, the vitamin C's, at least the Timeless, I've always really liked. And it plays really nice with my makeup. Now, the Truth Treatment plays fantastic with my makeup. And many of my other vitamin C's do not. So to me, that's a measure of something because I use my vitamin C in the morning only. I don't use it at night. So anyways, this is empty. I didn't buy the mist all over again. I'm just using another mist. And, you know, and I, and like I said, I'm, I'm using a peptide from The Ordinary. So I'm going to wait a while before I reorder my Matrixel. But I've always loved Matrixel. And the Matrixel 3000 Serum, I know I will buy this again. And I probably will my Timeless Vitamin C again as well. So that's a few empties, a few things that I bought. I really wanted to share this bag with you because, I don't know, you know, just is so cute. Don't you think this is adorable? I absolutely love it. So anyways, I'm not too sure when this is going to go live. I'm going to try to get it edited. It's been a funky weekend. Like I said, we thought we were going to go away. We ended up not going away. It rained all weekend. We did have company. Um, we kind of tried to camp in our backyard, but then we got rained out as well. And I said to Jay, well, you know, it's kind of a good thing that we didn't find a camp spot because we would have been like kicking ourselves, spending money camping in the rain. So I don't know, guys. <laughs> it's just, just like, oh, anyways. Um, that's it for now. I, um, I've been bored with myself lately, you know, and when I get bored with myself, I'm like, everyone else is going to be bored with me too. And I don't want to just 
do a video to do a video, you know what I mean? So, and sometimes I know my videos don't have a consistent theme, like I don't always do empties, I don't always do this or that. This is sort of a mixture, you know, stuff that that I like, uh, especially that bag is so cute, I really love it. But um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if it's just me going through a little bit of a a thing, but yeah, I'm a little bored with myself, and um, I hope you, I hope I don't bore the heck out of you guys either. And sometimes I think YouTube can be boring because I look at it and go, oh, same old, same old, same old, same old. I don't want to be the same old, same old, but I know I am at times. So, anyways, um, thank you so much for hanging in there with me, and I will talk to you all later. Bye bye.